What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 course showcase video. And today we have a special one because this new fantasy course created by the legendary fantasy course designer B Brusbury Zero might just be my new favorite in PGA 2K23. So we are diving into the incredible new Star Wars themed golf course inspired by the original trilogy episodes four through six. And if you're a Star Wars fan out there, you are going to be blown away with the attention to detail and how well this golf course tells the Star Wars story. So as always, get on out there in game, play this course, and let me know how you shoot in a comment down below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. We're going to be diving into the Star Wars course today. From There's one set of tees, so they're the red tees on this course. We're going to be playing pin location number one and medium wind speeds. Get your popcorn, get your snacks, because you all are about to be blown away. This is the same designer that has brought so many incredible fantasy worlds. The Last of Us, Jurassic Park, Batman, Uncharted. It's, that's just naming a few. He's done so many other ones. So, of course, we start out in Tatooine, uh, but we're going to start the flyover here so you all can see everything this incredible golf course has to offer now keep in mind uh, some of my pronunciations may be a little bit off of some of the planets and some of the areas and uh, i may miss some things that you all see um, but you have most easily right there to the right uh, of course where luke meets and teams up with han solo and escapes on the millennium falcon uh, we have, of course, Luke Skywalker's home. It's got to be the first hole right there, right? Just so awesome. And also, of course, we have the portion right here to the right. So this is where the Jawas are. So we can actually see the Jawas right here. And also, what's really cool about this is, of course, you have to have R2-D2 in that scene and we're going to see a lot of this as we go as well but you can just see the attention to detail i mean if you're a star wars fan it's just like what you have the tuscan raider right there as well i believe that's a tuscan raider i could be completely wrong on that so correct me if i'm wrong uh youtube but the detail in this city is sick and here you have yavin so we will see this a little bit yavin yavin uh, but you have the great temple uh, we will see that a little bit later but that is so cool and you will have golf holes inside of the death star like you will see it all and i don't really want to show those right now because they're they're kind of difficult to find within the rocks but we will see them as we go and then of course you have hoth here you have the att walker right there i mean imagine creating this everybody Imagine that is just insane and you even have the the uh, lasers coming off the ATT as well which is sick you have the turrets over there even the trenches B brush free literally thought of everything like literally thought of everything in Star Wars you have Dagaba as well which we will see a little bit later but of course you have you have the scene with Luke lifting up the ship out of the water. I wanted to show you all that right now. Of course, you gotta have that. And yes, Yoda, of course, makes an appearance. I mean, how? Just think about this. So, Brian took the different assets in the game to create the elements from Star Wars. And honestly, the, the, it's insane. Like, <laughs> that is to a T luke skywalker's ship right yoda like from this distance it looks like yoda back there that is insane like if you all have not been the designer to know how hard that is it's it's on another level of detail uh, so you're gonna have indoor in here as well you're gonna see the ewoks a little bit later on uh, we we will see those up close you have the at scout right here and we also get a view of on solo here on indoor so very cool and then i believe correct me if i'm wrong i believe this is best pin i believe this is the i believe this is best pin you all can correct me if i'm wrong on that 
ultra ultra star star wars fans out there who know a lot more than i do you know i'm a big star wars fan i love it but i i can't tell you i know everything uh, but i did recognize a lot as you all can probably tell during this flyover but i have to show the sarlacc pit as well so we have the sarlacc pit here it's a part three just sick I mean, I don't know how you create something like this. A lot of creativity. Well, I know how you do it. A lot of creativity and hard work. Uh, and then I want to show Jabba the Hutt as well. So the return, the return of the Jedi, the start of it. I mean, <laughs> just this is insane. I don't know how in the world you create this, right? The skill you have to have, the creativity, just blows me away, YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and fly up. We will, of course, see more as we play, particularly the indoor the indoor forest. And you'll see the Ewoks. But I think we saw most of it right there. And then, of course, the Death Star and inside the different spaceships is sick. But there you have it, everybody. Let's give a big round of applause to Be Brush Brief for creating this. You know, Star Wars fans out there, like, this is such an incredible moment. Like, I, this is insane. I could fly over that for 10 more minutes if I wanted to, but we will see more as we go. So let's see if we can play some good golf. What an incredible golf course. Here we go. We have to make Luke Skywalker proud here, right? Have to. You can't beat the original trilogy. You know, you just can't do it. It's... It's just none of them to me have been close to that original trilo trilogy. Maybe I'm biased because those were the first movies that I've watched. But that those original trilogy are just on another level in my opinion. Just insane. Who thinks we're going to play good golf here today? You know, we can use the force. <laughs> Speaking of using the force, what? Okay. That's gonna work just fine. Just fine, approach. yeah, I'd say. That's good so far. <laughs> okay, now After let's go one, visit Mos easily and get get Han Solo here and be on our Heads way. Up. Winds blowing left to right here. Oh no, that's right. We're going. Okay, never mind. There's R two D two there. We showed this earlier. The Jawas and then the Tusken Raiders. Okay, tempo is on right now. This Maybe I need to always border. play sure Star Wars themed golf courses. <laughs> is, there, is there any more out there? No, I know there's a few. I played a. I, I think Here's it was Chewy. Chewy, Chewbacca Rat, who created an incredible a Star Wars golf course. It was a part three course. I think it's just called Star Wars. It was amazing. I did showcase it here on the channel. Now, this is not where you want to be. I can tell you that. I don't even think we can get this up and over. But you had this amazing golf course in the different Star Wars planets, right? It's it's, it's insane. Because it? the golf is Setting great here, and that's what's so amazing. Siri is talking to me. I don't think I said her name. Did you all hear Siri? What? <laughs> I did not say her name. What in the world? But what I was trying to say before Siri wanted to talk to you all... <laughs> was the golf is great here it's not like a fantasy it's a fantasy environment of course but the golf plays fantastic and i think that's what b brushbury does an incredible job at creating these courses that plays so well in these fantasy environments now the golf hole well, in the, the green in the the cloud Setting city that we will play floor. later that golf hole is kind of insane we will get there when we get there let's see if we can send this birdie in no, you got to hit it. It wasn't a bad chip shot, this but putt for par. This one's tracking. <laughs> I oh, think Ryan just used the force nice. on that one. I am very surprised that that went in. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. What? All right, you're going to stick right there. At Here one we go. After that one. Where, where's Han Solo at? Now we saw we see him a little bit later on the course. But this is so sick. The attention to detail nice in these environments is fantastic. I mean, from the creatures, from just the detail in the city, the speeders, 
the ships that you'll see throughout this course it's just okay let's get on amazing out of this, uh, like look at this second cut and get on our way amazing okay here we go let's hit the pitch shot no yeah let's hit the pitch gap wedge a little bit of backspin here not gonna get there great lie though in the heavy rough you all see that 79 to 94 percent I think Ryan is using the force today. What can we say? Wow, this is fantastic. This is making me want to watch the original trilogy again. It's been a while since I've seen it. I can't even remember the last time I've watched the original okay. trilogy. Lining up for the 13th. It's been over a year. Definitely has been. Longer than that. Well, the putt appears to be online. Yes, we are that playing some golf here. Marvelous. Ryan Gamer knows how to play here in Tatooine. This is where he needs to play golf more okay, often. And then par now after just, wow. In this hole, we got a tailwind. Are you kidding me? We got the Millennium Falcon out there. We got Darth Vader there to the right. <laughs> now, how... Iconic scene from the movie right here in front of our eyes. And then the Millennium Falcon. Just nuts. A nice little par three. That's just insane. I that's the creativity here is on another level. Just amazing. Let's see. Hey, you all know what we gotta do. Be Brusbury08, wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web. This ace is for you, you legend. Imagine. You all did it, and you all might not remember. Do you remember the golf hole in the movie? You gotta look really closely. <laughs> you all don't remember that? The par Thanks three that's just sitting there? You may have to watch it again. Uh, Well, Brian, that one was for you, buddy. See if we can uh, get this birdie here. 19 footer, downhill four. The lighting here, tough to see, isn't it? No, that's going. It's right so funny. You hear the ambient noise in the background. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's no Star Wars ambient noises that you can put in the designer. That would be sick, but believe it or not, there's not. What's well, heading towards? So, the like wall. the iconic scene there on the wall okay, with Darth Vader, on of course, one. and you're gonna see that throughout the course in different areas. You're gonna see, you saw, saw the lightsaber okay, there, like that. Right there so cool. After that hole. Now, okay, the, the Battle of Yavin. There's the Great Temple right there in the background. This this golf hole is amazing. Yavin, Yavin, I think it's Yavin. But if I'm pronouncing it one way, it's usually the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I remember growing up, my brother used to get so frustrated with how I would way. pronounce some of the different names in Star Wars and planets, and not just Star Wars. And you know, some well, of those actually, names stuck with me, and the likely they're wrong. Okay, let's get out of this Likely bunker. they are wrong. Just look at the attention to detail. Are you kidding me? Like, I feel like I'm watching the movie. Like using rocks and different assets to create these. I, I feel like I'm watching the movie right now, YouTube. What about you? Do you all feel like you're watching the movie? Do you not remember the golf course? You don't remember that? Yeah, it was definitely there. You, you may have to watch it again. <laughs> That's not an ideal shot. Rough, you know, think. Ryan has used the force already on this course, but can he please start using the force to actually hit fairways? Have we hit a fairway yet? Setting up for I don't think we have. Shot. It's not surprising. It's not surprising, but wow, would I like to find a fairway? Ooh, look at that touch! A nice little splash shot. Beautiful. Good work out of that bunker. Not much work left to do here. There we go. And nice little par putt. Part we'll right take it. There. We're actually playing well. We're getting birdies. I, I want to say we're playing right, well. Two and under, then, I one. mean... Here we go. Par four ahead of you. Just insane. I 
I, I <laughs> that is just nuts. And this is what you didn't see at the flyover at the beginning, right? The iconic scene. Wow. Just on another level, right? I mean, all you can say is sit here and just be like, wow, if you haven't seen Star Wars, you probably don't know this scene. Well, even if you haven't seen Star Wars, I feel like everybody has seen this. You know, but the the way he created this <laughs> with the way, like, look, the way he used lights to create the atmosphere, right? To create this space battle. It's... <laughs> I'm blown away. I am blown away with this environment. Just amazing. Just amazing. The attention to detail here to create this. You know, like we could fly up and be like, you know, kind of break the immersion for a second. But that's the creativity I wanted to show here. The reason I did that, I want to show you how he was able to create this. And also, you notice this is here for a reason. That's for lighting. He can't completely close this part off for lighting purposes. That's to add that fill to it. Just genius. That is absolute perfection here. And this is a drivable par 4. I don't know if we can drive it, but I'm going to try with the bank shot. Amazing. Whoop, that was unlucky. Yes, that was sick. I can never do that again if I tried it. I'll never try again. That was a one and done. I was definitely trying to hit that. That same exact spot you all saw there. That's what I was yeah, aiming for. for. It. Hit it from the car path. Oh, see if I care. no. You hear John? John says, see if I care. John, what does that mean? <laughs> Are you not entertained, John? What? Uh, anybody got any ideas? Wait. <laughs> Well, Ryan Gamer is down there some, somewhere. Hey, he's a Jedi. What can we say? You all didn't know that? <laughs> I I don't know where, how, okay, that what that camera was, feet. but that was sick. This, what an amazing way to close out here A New oh, Hope. Going right by Episode 4. I believe that's the I believe this is the last golf hole on episode four. four. I power. believe we go straight into I could be wrong. The, of course the finale, right? So I believe we go straight to Hoth next. This putt's tracking. We'll take that's it. We in there for power. Two under through six could be a lot better, but we could be a lot worse. I wish we would have got a birdie after that trick shot, but okay, checking in yeah, here. Going right to Hoth deck. here. Okay, this hole we Just got a tailwind to deal I with. I mean Wow. I know we saw this earlier, but just seeing it from a different perspective or a different view. Amazing. Let's let's see if we can play some golf here on this part five here to start the Empire Strikes Back. You know, I would say I my think we're heading to the fairway with this one. My my favorite Star Wars is the Empire Strikes Back. And it's it might actually be one of my favorite movies. I, I absolutely love this movie, and, and you know, I love all of the shot, original seven. trilogy, right? I, I love them all, but I would, if I had to pick a favorite, I think I would choose The Empire Strikes Back. What is everybody out there? What is your favorite Star Wars movie out of the original trilogy? Let's see if we can send this. What is everybody's favorite from the original? It's heading a bit right. I think it's Empire Strikes Back for me. Look at the droid in the background there. Uh, don't be afraid. Everything's fine. Ryan, that, that droid is not operational, I, I, I don't believe. And there's some what a shot. Golf putting for Eagle. All right, Brian Taking gave us a nice bounce there. Under. Some great sculpting there by the designer. 37 footer here for Eagle. It's right to left and then left to right. Get oh, in. Come on, get in. Get in there. 
Yes! Get in touch. there, baby! Fine work, my friend. Ryan was made to play golf in a Star Wars a Star Wars world. Wow. I mean Star Wars fans out there. Four under par currently. Are you blown and away? Now teeing off on a par three. I don't know how you could not be blown away. But here we go. Nice little par three here. Does that does that bring up any memories to you all? Does that bring up any memories to you all? You're so sick. <laughs> I mean Believe it or not, there is no preset for that. Amazing. Wow. Nice, pure swing. Get up. Stuff. The problem is how much uphill this is. Go in! Never mind, there's no problem. We read it to perfection. We should have dedicated that shot to Luke Skywalker. Why not? If we would have dedicated it, we probably would have hit the ship back there. <laughs> Approach shot worked out just fine. Good luck here. I, I gotta watch Empire to Strikes Back. I may I may watch it right after playing this round. I don't know about you all. I may dive straight into the Empire Strikes Back. I may watch them all again Ooh. actually after this. Sent it. All right, this next putt for the par. We'll take nice it. Putt. I need some more coffee. I don't know about you all, but hey, four under through eight's not bad. All right, that's gonna keep you right there. At and here we go, Dagaba. Well, let's let this fly. I believe here that's how you nine. pronounce it. A dangerous golf hole, though. You can see how each you each environment you get taken into a different planet, and it brings up so many memories from my childhood watching Star Wars over and over, and, and you get flashes of these scenes from the movie, and it's amazing. You will see Yoda's hut right on this golf hole. It's actually right by the green. This is just that fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Amazing imagination by this designer. Amazing creativity. The 100 hours or longer that went into this. Setting up from Thank you for the hard away. work, Brian. And there is Yoda's hut, of course. You know, Luke was training to be a Jedi master. 146 yards. One foot. Send it. A good shot. Wow, it got quiet here in the jungle, did it not? I can not really hear much You'll be all right noise there. here. But the use of the fog, right, in the five. swamp region, it's just fantastic. 17 feet, downhill, 2 inches. It's left to right, then right to left. Oh, that was almost. That, yeah, almost in. in. As John says, the story of Ryan Gamer's right, golf career. Five-foot putt. And that'll work for your par. Good stuff. Good front nine, but that was a beautiful front nine. A picture perfect, telling the Star Wars story one golf hole and one right golf shot at a time. At four Amazing. Amazing. And then I know we saw this, of, of course. Us. You have Yoda lifting the, using the force, lifting the spaceship out of the water. Or out of the swamp, it is water. So Here's sick. Second shot on the tenth. Look at Yoda there using the force, and even the attention to detail. Yoda with his hands up, using the force, lifting the ship. <laughs> so sick. Let's go gap wedge, and attack. Get up, get up, get up. Let's go. I'm okay with that. John's okay with that. Right, I will say the go. lighting this sometimes in the jungle, of course, is going to make it really tough to see. So you, you're going to have to really rely on your instincts on these greens. Because they're tough. I mean, when you get in these shadows, when there. you're in the jungle, in, this, in the jungle, in the spaceships, in space, Ooh, in some of the golf just holes. Just about... And just tapping that one in for par. Nice.
We'll take it. Four under through ten. Okay, You'd like to have more birdies, but I'm just along for the ride. Just enjoying my time here at this amazing golf course. And then here we go. You'll have the iconic scene. This, I, I mean, honestly, is every uh, is every scene I would say at this point iconic in Star Wars. So, like, I could say that with everyone, but you all will see what will we we will see coming up here in the future. So be ready, because. It's fantastic, but gotta take a screenshot here. I, I did a flyover of this one when I first learned about this course. I got on there and you took so many screenshots. It, it's hard to find the right screenshot, right? Because there's so many good ones you can use for a course like this. Now, this is the golf hole I was talking earlier that's extremely challenging. Y you can't get there. I, I don't believe you can. Maybe if you hit a 110 with Tailwind... This golf hole is insane. And it, it looks like you can get it, it to tidy. different spots, but I think okay. pull out a tr three wood and hit it there, I think is the best shot on this golf hole. There's a lot of traps you can fall for on this one. Are any of them like good shots to take? I don't think so. I think it's best to go the route we did, but look at that golf shot. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. There's another green and reg. I'm liking it. This one's six feet away. And we'll take our birdie. Let's yeah, go. That'll, that'll do. We're almost to the end of the Empire Strikes Back. That hole. Bring things down and to five under. Speaking for of the end, here, comes here we go. Eight, par three for us. Of course, you have to somehow recreate this moment right here. Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, are you kidding me? The lightsabers, the attention to detail. A moment that even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you've probably seen that. If you, even if you haven't seen Star Wars, you've probably seen, you've probably seen this scene before over the years. You've definitely heard of it. But, I mean, just absolutely incredible. And we have to dedicate an ace here. All right. Be Brush Spree 8 Wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, you did it again. He did it again, everybody. Just when you think he can't design anything better, he does it again. Nice <laughs> I sweet. mean, Sounded great. he just, every single time he creates a course, I'm just like, What? And that might be my best shot dedication to uh, Brian. So nice approach, good stuff. Hey, this one. Let, let's send this birdie. birdie in. Dedicated birdie. That one drops, and that's your second. Isn't that two dedicated birdies? Right? Did we street, wait a perhaps. second? The last dedication was a dedicated par, right? I can't remember. I'm so engrossed into this environment and course and that I don't even know. But we start the okay, Return of the Jedi. Here we're going to one. save Princess Leia. Uh, but I know I know we dedicated a birdie. I think it's a par birdie, right? So five points. I don't even know anymore. And also, have we found a fairway? <laughs> yes, we have right here. Now I think we found a fairway on the on a couple holes ago. We haven't found very many though, to be honest. Good stuff. We haven't found very many, so we're about to get about to go to the Sarlacc pit here. And, of course, we have Job of the Hut that we already saw. Amazing. Let's send it. Be the one. Be the one. I sent it. Well, look at you putting for Eagle now. That's fine work. Fine work indeed. This well, I guess, wouldn't this be the eagle. scene... You know, I said saving Princess Leia, but this would be the scene, all right, when Leia is undercover, right, as a Tusken Raider. And this would be when she's saving Han Solo. R correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think, I, think I, I said it backwards. Then, of course, it's Luke comes in and saves Leia and... That I think I I was mixing up that scene there, right? So this is the scene technically where Leia is disguised and saves Han Solo, correct? And then of course Leia gets the, the you know the scene that everybody remembers after that. And 
then Luke comes in and saves him. It's been, so, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's been so long since I've seen Return of the Jedi. But I know it's, if we can send it, I know Leia, of course, Get saved there. Han, I believe, first, and then Luke came in and saved them both. All it's right, been nice so long. I'm with. sure you, some of you all have already corrected me from what I said, if I said that earlier. Looking good. And right now, you're seven under for the Technically, day. we are saving Leia as Luke here, right? As Ryan, as Ryan Gamer as Luke Skywalker here, saving saving yeah. all of them. Headwind to deal with on this hole. And then here we go. This scene is just amazing. And the, the ability to recreate this, I mean, you have to recreate it, right? This is what you have to have. And it's just amazing. We're, we're not going to hit it into the pit. You have my word. Remember, I said that. I'm going to use the backboard. Oh, wonderfully struck. It, it's, it's one of those things. It's funny. I've seen Empire Strikes Back so much. I feel like that's the one I revisit the most. But I don't always watch them all. I feel like I've watched Empire Good Strikes Back there. Nicely played. a hundred more times than than Return it's of the Jedi and feet. A New Hope. And I, I love them all. Don't get me wrong. It just I don't, I don't I just love going back to Empire Strikes Back. But I I need to watch Return of the Jedi ah, more I, I, no. again and have a refresher on it. Because it's been so long. Okay, par putt coming up. This putt's going. <laughs> it's important to mention there's a lot of spoilers nice in this video in there, too. We've spoiled almost the whole movie. I should have gave a spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, is it really? Star Wars been out forever. After that hole. You really have to give a spoiler alert? That's, that's a good question, actually. I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to say, I don't know, but here we go. The Ewok. Like, look at that. It's so good. That is so good. I mean, the speeder bike, the Ewok sitting right there. It's so sick. This is fantastic. In so many ways. Absolutely fantastic. The attention to detail on this golf course is on another level. Wow. Silky swing. Hope you all are enjoying this round of golf. Hope you all are enjoying this, this course showcase video. It's been a lot of fun. I may have missed a few things too, so keep and that in mind. Around I may have got some of the planets wrong. This is just what I remembered. I mean, what, what if I called the planets the wrong name? I don't think I did. Is some of the planets? Maybe I did though. I, I you know, I want to. If that right happens, here. apologize. <laughs> you know, my memory sometimes fades. Okay, third shot. Fades away. I think I remember something the way it is, and then it's. It's not. We can send this, but I think I've got. I think honestly, I think I've remembered it pretty good going back into this course. Some things you just don't forget, right? And Star Wars seems to be one of those for me, even though I've forgot yeah, forgot some. But so far, so good. Great work out there on the course. But hey, we're playing some six. golf here on this back nine. Are you kidding me? Three holes left here. We're eight under par here. After that hole, on this under par. beautiful Star Wars course, then you have the AT Scout right there. Makes me want to play Star Wars Battlefront, and you actually get to control control the AT Strike. Now you get to control the AT Scouts. You don't get to control the AT walkers do you in Nothing star wars battlefront that. the game you fight yeah, them this one's around i don't think you can actually control out. them though then i know we saw this earlier i one thing i forgot to show was chewy some of you were probably like ryan don't forget chewy made out of pine cones i believe i i forgot to show this earlier i was so focused on showing han solo here uh, but you have Chewie right up here. He's <laughs> so sick. <laughs> Made of, I believe, pine cones, which is so creative. That is absolutely fantastic. 
Gotta take a screenshot here, right? Amazing. I am loving this. I, I like I'm loving every oh, second of this course. Right. It's amazing. The attention to detail here is is truly on another level. But I feel like it's like that for all of E. Brusbury's design. This could go in the hole. Great job on that approach. And this one's for Bird. Take our okay, birdie. What a shot. Gamer ability sculpting bonus points there to the designer. Thank you for that, Brian. What a bounce we got on that one. And teeing it up on a part four. And then, of course, the Ewoks village. There's a, there's a specific name for this village, right? I can't remember the name. But, I mean, building the platforms in the trees is just amazing. The little huts. And then, of course, you all know you got to have C-3PO. <laughs> yes, C-3PO sitting on the throne up there. So cool. Just amazing. I mean, I feel like I feel like I could give a thousand round of applauses to the designer for this creation. It, it truly is remarkable. Beauty of a swing there. The way he used the different assets to recreate this environment and to tell the Star Wars story. It's telling the original story, right? Like And here's our second shot. The original on the trilogy. 17. Amazing. Get up. Yeah, that's that's too short. Rough. I was going for more of an overpowered shot. That's unfortunate. That's unlucky. Missed the green on that approach. C-3PO is not going to be impressed with that shot. golf shot. I can tell you that. I could definitely tell you that. He, he's not impressed over there. This putt's about five feet. The shadow's making it so hard to see on this golf hole. I can barely see a thing. What about you all? Ah! Amazing, though. And your score is currently and the five. finale. Blowing you better right believe it. One. As we close out episode six, you have to have the moment. Of course, the Emperor using the Force. You have Darth Vader there to the left. Luke Skywalker. You like how he used he used flowers here. To show like that blue kind of lightning, force lightning effect there. Amazing. He used, look, OB stakes for it to show. <laughs> that is so creative. What a moment. What a scene. I got to go back and rewatch all these movies after this. Just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. All I could say is wow. What a fantastic moment. Recreating the final the final scene, right? Amazing. Amazing. I don't even know what to say. I feel like I've said it all, right? <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm so happy to, to play this course and showcase it to you all. I tried to describe all the moments. Uh, if I missed any, let me know. Yards I probably got a few names wrong here and there, a few moments wrong. I just, it's been a while since I've seen them. Of course, some some things here in the Star Wars world, I've, I've seen them so many times to stick with me. Uh, but, uh, you know, some of the things I I mixed up that scene in at the beginning of Return of the Jedi, right? Though we, we are saving Leia in that moment, right? When we're coming through as Luke Skywalker. But in that specific scene, that was a different, that was a different one. I approve. John approves. Okay, if you sink this, it's 10 under par. And how many planets did I pronounce wrong? 95%? No, I think no, I did pretty well. Right by. <laughs> I'm not pronouncing them wrong. You all are. Here we go. This is for par. Right? You all are pronouncing them wrong. That's what I would always tell my brother. No, I'm not pronouncing them wrong. You are. <laughs> no, I, I'm not pronouncing them wrong. You are. <laughs> And my brother would say, it's literally in the movie, 
Ryan. Oh. Is it now? <laughs> ah! This putt's good so far. <laughs> we'll take our yeah, par and be on our way. The round is over. What a course. Nine under par as well. That was fantastic from start to finish. All right. Nine under par. Phenomenal golf course. B. Brusbury did it again. A course I will come back to multiple times. A course I will never forget. That is an easy favorite. That is an easy five star. Wow. 64 fairways. Actually a bit more than I was expecting because I feel like I hit less than that. Fairways overrated though. We hit 83% of greens. Had 1.4 putts per hole. And a nine under on the scorecard. Fairways overrated, but get on out there and play that course. Amazing. Incredible design. I know I talked about it all the way through, but all I can say, big round of applause to the legendary designer, Brian B. Brushbury08 has created so many incredible fantasy courses like this. When he chooses a theme, he goes all in on that, on that theme, like you saw in this one today. Like we saw in The Last of Us, the Batman golf course, Stranger Things, Jurassic Park, you name it. He's likely created a fantasy course for it. So big thank you to Brian for all the hard work. This was amazing. I will never forget this course. If you all got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And I have a full course showcase playlist link for you all in the description below. And plenty of other PGA 2K23 and other sports games content here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. And even more on my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. I'm definitely going to go back and watch the original trilogy after playing this course. I'm just in the Star Wars mood now. I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.